Hey everybody, Colinar here. Welcome back to more Let's Play. Well, technically NCAA Football 2002, but it's technically a Let's Play. So, but anyways, uh, ignore what I said. Welcome back to more NCAA Football 2002. I am Colinar. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, I'm still suffering from the effects from the stressful game last episode where we beat Penn State 31-24 in overtime. And if you saw that last episode, I was not a happy camper because, you know, I'm angry. And, you know, right now I'm looking at this and um, I think it's going to be another tough game even though Minnesota's 4-3. and three. But before we do that, I just want to take a look at the other games, the other ranked games. And just simulate the room. Georgia Tech won, so they might win the ACC this year. Unless Clemson stops them. Oh, but I guess not. <laughs> they lost to Florida State. Wow, Iowa upset Wisconsin. That's an oof. Louisville upset Tulane. Wow. The game of the week is Michigan State and Michigan. And Michigan won, and they are still undefeated in the Big Ten. Northwestern beat Indiana. Alright, Oklahoma won their rivalry with Oklahoma State. West Virginia beat Rutgers. Tennessee beat Notre Dame. Ouch. Cincinnati beat UConn. Oh boy, Vanderbilt. We all know Vanderbilt's gonna lose. Yep, knew it. Predicted the future. <laughs> ah, Baylor and Texas. And Texas won. Wow, that was a close one. Pittsburgh upset Virginia Tech. Yikes. Oh, Oregon State destroyed Oregon. Wait, did I say Oregon State? I meant Arizona State. I think I said Arizona State. Maybe, I don't know. But Arizona State upset Oregon. And Oregon State won. Nebraska and Kansas. Well, we all know Nebraska's gonna win, of course. It would be so awesome if Temple upset Miami, but it's not happening, because, you know, it's whatever. Texas A&M won, and that's all the ranked games. Alright. So, enough uh, simulating. Let's play... Our game against Minnesota. I mean, if Florida and Miami stay undefeated, I mean, it's okay. I'll go to the... I'll go to B, a, a BCS Bowl that's not the Rose Bowl National Championship. That's fine. Alright, here we go. Ohio State and Minnesota. Woo! Woo! And I'm hoping not to suck. I'm hoping it doesn't suck. Because if it does suck, I'm going to be an angry camper. We all know that Michigan will probably be the Big Ten champion if I lose here today. There's just something about going to a dome stadium at night, and we are really looking forward to this matchup between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Golden Gophers of Minnesota. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler with the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. We're getting closer and closer to the end of this college football season as we continue to bring you all the excitement with this game. The Buckeyes should have no trouble dominating this football game. Lee? Oh, I absolutely agree with you, Brad, 100%, and I'll tell you why. Ohio State has a running game that will absolutely All right, dominate so the Minnesota defense. pass Cut. offense this is going to be a trouble for me. I agree with you, Lee. This one shouldn't be much of a contest. Ohio State is led by their star running back. I talked to him about this game, and believe me, he's ready to run all over this defense. Brad, look for him to have a big game on the ground. Thanks, Kirk and Lee. Well, the team captains look like they're ready for the coin toss, so we'll send it down to the field. Tails worked out for me, so let's choose Tails. 
And it's Tails. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to receive this time. Just because, you know, don't want to get scored in the first few minutes of this game. Minnesota lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Number 28 kicks it off. Number 28 fields it in the end zone. All right. At uh, the 19. Let's go with the running play. Ball on the 19. The Buckeyes come out of the ace formation. He's Spin move a dude. Oh, oh, Jonathan Wells, look at him go. Number two brings him down at the 42-yard line. He carried for a nice gain before they could wrestle him down. Brad, if he keeps running like that, he'll get his number called again and again and again. Number 28. Now we're going to go the other way and up. Oh, looks like they found out that play. Brings him down for a loss. Couldn't get anything out of that. All right, let's go with PA strike. Ball on their own 41. The Buckeyes come out of the ace formation. There's a play fake. He's going to try and scramble. Oh, I threw it to the wrong receiver. I was trying to throw it to uh, Michael Jenkins, but thankfully Darnell Sanders caught that football. Number 89. Here you can see that these two are definitely on the same page. Ball on the 37. First and 10. Going to go back to the running game. Ohio State goes with the ace set here. And oh, Jonathan Wells. He breaks a tackle and he's almost to the 15. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. First and 10. Ball on the 16. The Golden Gophers put four men up front. And we're going to half back tackle it. And oh, they try to tackle us. No! Oh my God! Why? Coach, what can you do to avoid those? All that work for nothing, really. We're doing this now. I don't care who you are. We're doing this now, really. It's first and ten. You guys are seriously trying to make me go nuclear here. Oh, I am not having it today. I am not having it today. Fifteen yard line. It's second down and eight to go. Four man front by the defense. They are coming. He jukes him. Brought down at the twenty-two, and he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy like that who can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure keeps some pressure off the passing game. Four-three defense. Here comes the defense. He's got the first. Number 37 brings him down at the 28. Good pickup on third down there. That's going to keep the drive alive. First and 10, and do it again, my friend. First and 10. I'm not, not. Why? Why? I'm not happy. Gets the call. Number 97 tackles him for a loss on the play. Thank you, Kenny Peterson. Loss on that one. Ball on their own 26. They blitz him. Number 97 with a takedown at the 29 yard line. Kenny Peterson takes the that guy down again. On that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Ball of the 29. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. He's looking for his man. Incomplete. And he couldn't hook up on that one. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that. All right, they're going to punt the ball away to us. a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. Number 84. Back to return it. He punts it. Number 84. Well, that sucked. I couldn't do anything. Really didn't have any room to 
work on that punt return. Yeah, but his blockers have to do a better job of helping him out. They didn't hold the coverage team at bay. They just let him right through. It's first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Golden Gophers line up with a three-man front. All right. Jonathan Wells. And he got that first down. The 44-yard line. They had a tough time bringing him down. Well, he's running yeah. really hard right now, Brad, but how about the offensive line? They have their heads on a swivel, and they're looking to knock anyone down in their path. Ohio State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Oh, Jesus. Around, nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. Seven-yard loss on the play. Ball on the 37-yard line. It's second down and a long ways to go. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Drops the throw. Oh, Rifles Ricky Bryan, you are there. Number two. And well, they try to thread the why? That pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look How did I throw it into coverage? I was, he was open. Ball on the 37. Here's a third and long situation. Number 28 is a deep back as they line up in the eye. He unloads it. Oh, I threw that terrible. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it seems like he's allowing the defense right now to control him by throwing bad passes under pressure. What he needs no, to do I is make some it. plays and start Great. controlling the defense instead. Just wonderful. Number 32, back deep to return. Punts the ball away. All right, come on, Derek. Crush him. And he's Good crush. Not much of a return on that one, guys. Well, that's an excellent job of punt coverage there. Getting into position quickly and sealing off any space for him to run. Nice job. It's first and ten. The Buckeyes line up in a nickel back. Back to pass. He's looking for his man. And it falls incomplete. There was a lot of pressure on the quarterback there. Yeah, he had to get rid of him in a hurry, and that's why his pass was right. off. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 21. The Buckeyes put four men up front. Back to throw. Let's it go. Number eight. Incomplete. It's third down and ten. Minnesota lines up in a shotgun set. Drop back to pass. Throws it out there. Incomplete. Donnie Nicky got in there and was like, nope. No question there. He needs to make that catch there. Because now they're looking at fourth down. Ball on their own 21. Number 84 awaiting the return. Number 14 gets it off. And I'm going to go nowhere. Number oh, broke a tackle. I'm getting blocked by my own guy. Number 12 Got almost to the 50. Okay, this time we're going to go vertical. Ball on the 49 yard line. Minnesota going with a three man front. Back to throw. Oh, Ricky Bryan is there and he's got it. He got it. And Brutus is happy about that play. Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. It's first and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. Minnesota comes out in a 4-3. Number two brings him down at the 20-yard line. He didn't really have a chance on that play. Boy, guys, how about the defense on this play? They sniffed that play out from the start. Ball on the 20. Don't know how that was possible. You know what, I'm going to bring the first quarter to an end. I don't really want to run up with another play. And so we've reached the end of quarter number one, and we're all tied up. We are ready to start quarter number two. Ball on the 20. The Buckeyes come out in the ace formation. Blitz is on. Ah, we tripped on a on a dude on the ground. That is embarrassing. Run that again. Let's try it again. 
There we go. Number 61. That's what should have happened. A first down. Now we're just going to tire out this Minnesota defense. Touchdown. Wait. There we go. I knew it was a touchdown. I thought I'd said I was short. But it's a touchdown. Now Josh Houston to kick to uh, kick this extra point, and it's good. And he hits the PAT. All right, seven zero. You're doing pretty good so far. Ohio State ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Number 15 takes it at the four. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Ohio State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Number seven with a takedown at the 23. All right. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. They shift on the defensive line. A little juke. Tackle at the 24-yard line. A one-yard gain on the play. Ball on the 24. Third and eight. Four-man front by the defense. Back to pass. Rifles it right side. Incomplete. I think he was feeling a lot of pressure there, guys. <laughs> yeah, you, incomplete. He got rid of that ball when he did because they were coming. That is awesome. Fourth and eight coming up now. Ball on the 24-yard line. Number 84, the return man. Number 14 gets it off. Number 84 fields it at the oh, 35. Wow. Oh, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh -huh. I thought I was going to do some awesome some moves and stuff on that return. Yo, with that. That's not good for the old net punting average either. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. Minnesota going with a three-man run. All right. Oh, Ricky is covered. Going to throw to Michael Jenkins. He's got it. Oh, almost broke away from that guy. And he delivered a nice pass there, Coach. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I like what this coach is doing here by opening up his playbook. It's going to have the defense calling for mercy soon. The Buckeyes come out in the ace formation. He spins. Number 27 brings him down for a loss. And I think he lost yards on that run. That was not good. He did a great job of sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball now we're going to go with the rollout here. The Buckeyes come out in the ace formation. He drops it back. Let's oh, go. I Let's threw that away. right in the coverage. Try to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Ball on the 25-yard line. It's third down and 10. The Buckeyes come out in the ace formation. Number eight. Oh, I'm going to throw to Ricky Bryant. He's got it. Touchdown, Ohio State. Yes. I'll tell you what, my friend. That quarterback is a That was beautiful. Right into his hands. And now to kick this field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, the extra point. I meant to say extra point, not field goal. All right, so far, we're doing pretty good. Ohio State is 14 0. Number 15 and number four set to return. Here's the kick. The rageometer is going down. If you want to know what the rageometer is, it's my rage meter. So. The rageometer is Ball currently the at it's first and 20. 20 percent. 
Minnesota comes out in the shotgun. He jukes. Number 10 with a takedown at the 23. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really nice read. Ball in the 23. Ohio State comes out in a 4-3. He passes it. Oh, Donnie Nicky just that destroyed one, that guy well, from getting that pass. That was beautiful. Excellent job. Was wow. Third and six. Ball on the 23-yard line. Ohio State lines up in a dime defense here. Third and six at the 23. He drops back. He throws it. Number 83 hangs on to it. Oh, my, that long game what? gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. He unloads it, and they couldn't hook up on oh, Wow. One. I think he was feeling a lot of pressure there, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what. He's lucky he got rid of that ball when he did because they were coming. Ball on the 34, second and 10. Okay, so that completion he did to get the shotgun. first down was his only completion of the day. Cool. Number I'll make sure to have a note of that. And I just one. made another completion. Why? How about that pass, Kirk? You know, guys, one of the things often overlooked in college football is the relationship between a quarterback and his receiver. Here, you can see that these two are definitely on the same page. The Buckeyes bring in the nickel package. He guns it to the left. And that oh, yeah. Falling incomplete. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it seems like he's allowing the defense right now to control him by throwing bad passes under pressure. What he needs to do is make some plays and start controlling the defense instead. Ohio State lines up defensively in a 4-3. And down he goes at the 48. Well, he worked hard for those yards, Coach. Yeah, Brad, this kid is a hard-nosed player. He gives that kind of effort every single play. The Golden Gophers come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. He lets it go. Incomplete. It falls incomplete. Well, he was under some heavy pressure there. Well, I agree there was a lot of pressure, but I think he can hold on to the ball All right, just a little bit longer and deliver Minnesota with some confidence. Minnesota to punt this ball away. Number 84, back to return it. He punts it. And we're just going to let it bounce into the end zone. Or out of the end zone. It's either one. Let's do scan because I can't find ten. my other play. My vertical. Ohio State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Let's oh yeah, Ricky Bryan. He's first open, down. and he's got the first down. With a takedown at the 40. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the oh, time. Oh, throwing into Michael Jenkins. He's open. And oh, oh, and there goes Michael Jenkins. Oh, he could have been gone. First and ten. Ball on the 40. Audible. There's the vertical. Number eight, back to pass. And Number I got sacked. Ball on the forty eight. Going with tight end flat this time. Minnesota comes out in a 4-3, drops back, guns it across the middle. Oh. Couldn't hook up on that one. I thought he had that one, guys. Yeah, that guy will make that catch nine out of ten times, I guarantee. Oh, there's the there there the iPhone up here. High formation here. Number eight oh. drops to throw. Let's it fly. Oh, catch that. And oh, he got it. At the 17-yard line. Timeout. Ball on the 17. It's first and 10. One man backfield. Number eight. Back to pass. Gonna throw, throw it to Ricky Bryan again. Did he catch it? He caught a touchdown, Ohio State. Unbelievable. The quarterback saw the hole in the defense, and that's a touchdown, folks. 
What a catch by Ricky Bryan. Oh, my goodness. He's doing very well. And he hits the PAT. Time to kick it off to Minnesota as we lead 21 to 0. Ohio State to kick. He kicks it. Number four takes it at the four. And he did not have a good kick return on that one. No, some miscommunication there with his blockers. The coverage team just charged right in and took him down. It's first and ten. They'll bring in their dive packing. They're bringing it. And he's tackled at the 22. Tackled. And Minnesota will call a timeout. That's their first timeout. Second down and five. Ball on their own 22. Minnesota lines up in the ace set. Second and five at the 22. Back to pass. He lets it go. Complete. That one was nearly overthrown. Boy, the receiver makes a great play by putting his hands up. He had enough vertical okay, lead to get his cool. hands on it. Third down. That's it's good. Third and inches. Ball on their own 26. He didn't cross the first down line. That's good. Ohio State and lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number seven on the option. Number 95 with a takedown. At the and Minnesota will call a timeout there. That's their second timeout. Ball on the 28-yard line. Minnesota goes with the ace set here. Drops back. Let's it fly. And it falls incomplete. Fifth play of this drive coming up. The defense lines up with six DBs. Drops to throw. Guns it across the middle. Oh, God. Really, guys? We're going to let him score at the end of the quarter. Thank you for taking him down. Don't know what that was all about. Kind of want to keep the shutout. Oh, they're going to go for a field goal. A field goal. Okay. Let's see how that works. He gets it up. And it's right down the middle. No, oh, you got it. Good job for you. But you do know that your fans are booing you for that field goal. I don't know why. Minnesota I'm pretty sure I heard some boos. I'm pretty sure you guys heard boos too. They're literally booing him for a field goal. Number 28 fields it in the end zone. He spins around. Couldn't do anything on that one. No, I could just run the ball or just take a knee, but I want to go crazy. It's so we're going to go throw a Hail Mary. Ohio State comes out of the shotgun. He drops back, throws it out Throwing there. it deep to Michael Jenkins, and it's Good tipped morning. and incomplete. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Ohio State 21, Minnesota 3. All right, so I can't get the shutout, but I can beat him down. Basically, just keep scoring touchdowns and not giving up big plays. He kicks it. Number 15 fields it in the end zone. Makes a move. Ball on their own 27. Minnesota lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. And it's caught. And down he goes at the 36 yard line. Gain of nine. Second down and short. Ball on their own 36. Ohio State lines up defensively in a 4-3. Drops back to pass. He lets it go. 
First down, knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. He stayed in bounds on that catch. Heck of a catch by the receiver. The quarterback threw the ball off target, but luckily he's got receivers like okay, this guy. Okay, this is not the looking Buc guys. good. Use a four-man front here. Number seven, back to pass. Fires a bullet over the middle. He's got the first. Okay, Number really, guys? We're just now going to stop playing and defense and let him score there, a freaking touchdown? I like what this coach is doing here by opening up his playbook. It's going to have the defense calling for mercy soon. Number seven drops to throw. He throws it, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Ball on the 19-yard line. The D-line shifts over. Brought down at the 13-yard line. A gain of six. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Buckeyes come out in a 4-3. Gets the ball. No, they fake it. Incomplete. That one's falling incomplete. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. And another field goal for passes Minnesota. And let the receivers here. go get it. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up. And it splits the uprights. Oh, man, I thought they missed it. Minnesota to kick number seven at number 28 back to return here's the kick number seven takes it at the eight all right we're at the 22 let's go vertical ball on their own 22 Ohio State sets up in the eye back to pass Oh, Michael go. Jenkins is open, number and he's oh, almost the broke 40. through. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's right. going to spread this defense out a little. Ball on the 40-yard line. It's first and ten. Ohio State comes out with an eye formation. Back to throw. We go he's for Ricky Bryant here, and he's got it too. Oh my goodness, the wide receivers are doing an awesome job catching the ball right now. I think these guys are the difference makers in the game. I would expect to see the deep routes to keep coming and coming Holy crap, defense. we're actually catching the football right now. The Golden Gophers put four men up front. Oh, uh-oh, there was an opening. I didn't take it. They'll get two on that one. What? I wanted to run through it again. I wanted to run the ball again. I wanted to do the hurry up offense. Let's go. Wow, 330 yards of total offense. And that's a touchdown, Jonathan Wells. And Brutus is happy. And a nice job of the ball carrier to get in there for the touchdown. Let's take another look at the touchdown. Look at that. There was a hole, and I went through it. It's now going to be 28 to 6. Even though Minnesota has a sign that says our Maybe house, our rules, it's currently, you know, my house, my rules. Get it? Because every game is technically a home game. Every game Ohio is technically State a home game for the Buckeyes. Because look at all that return. Scarling Gray straight ahead. Number 23 kicks it off. There's Scarlet and Gray everywhere. Number 15, Seriously, look at all that scarlet and gray. Where is the gold and the wine and gold of Minnesota? There's nothing. There's no. It's not there. First and ten. Ball on the 18. Basically, Buckeye fans are selling out every stadium. Kinda. Except for Penn State. There, there's a lot of Penn State fans there. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there. And that ball was thrown in the right spot. Ball on the 24. Ohio State comes out at a 4-3. He drops back. He lets it go. 
Oh yeah, Donnie Nicky batting that pass down out of here. You know, there's really no excuse for that either. He needs to make that catch, Coach. I agree 100% with you. Ohio State brings in the nickel here. And nowhere for the running back to go. That'll be a loss of one. With Mike Doss tackling him for a loss on the play. 23 tackles for Mike Doss this season. That's crazy. Number 84, back deep to return. He gets it off. All right, let's see what I can do here. Number 84, not a whole lot. And he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. Ball on the 31 yard line. High formation here. Number eight, back to pass. Let's Gonna go. throw it to Michael Jenkins and oh, threw it too long. He just couldn't get to that one. Well, he looked to be a little excited back there in the pocket. May have rushed things a little bit. Needs to be a little bit more patient. Step up, make the throw. Ball I need to be a little more patient, Kirk. I was about to get sacked. How can I be patient Number to get sacked? Up in the deep back. Eye formation. Number eight, back to oh, that's a that's a beauty. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. Drop back to pass. Gonna throw it to Michael Jenkins again, and he's got it. Touchdown, Ohio State. There's the Mr. Clutch I've been, I've been wanting to see. Oh yeah, Mr. Clutch is here. Great speed by the receiver. All right, when we get to 42 points. So after I score another touchdown and kick another extra point, I'll just, I'll start going for two because this game is over. It's over. Ohio State. I know this is probably gonna hurt Jonathan Wills' Heisman chances, but. That's fine. I don't need to win the Heisman Trophy. He kicks it. I don't need to win it all the time. Somebody Number else can win. It at the three. I've already won it twice in NCAA football 2003 and NCAA football 2004. So we're good. We're good. It's first and ten. Minnesota lines up in a shotgun set. Here they come. Fires a bullet out to the right. First down. Breaks a tackle. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. He got up in the air and made the catch. Well, that's all okay, about I don't know what that was all about. Because if he jumped but... too early, he wouldn't have been able to catch that That was ball. crap. Ball on the 44-yard line. Minnesota comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Let's it go. And oh, gone. wow. Really? And down he goes at the 8-yard line. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. The D line shifts over. First and goal at the eight yard line. He drops back. Rifles it over the middle. And they got a touchdown. touchdown. How about that one, Lee? Brad, this is exactly what you love to see as a coach. Great communication between the quarterback and his receiver. And the results? Six. A touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Minnesota to kick this one off. Number seven and number 28 set to return. Number 28 kicks it off. Number 28. All right, Jonathan Wills to return this kick, and he did okay. That was an okay return. All right, all right. Let's see. Vertical. Ball on the 17. It's first and 10. They can't stop us with the vertical, so we're just gonna go vertical. Go with the I formation. Back to pass. He unloads it. 
Oh, one-handed catch by Mr. Clutch Michael Jenkins. And we're going to hurry up with the hurry of offense. I think these guys are the difference makers in the game. I would expect to see the deep routes to keep coming and coming at this defense. Back to pass. Throws it out there. Uh, throwing to Ricky Bryan. He was in double coverage and he caught it. What a catch. Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like Now we're going to run the ball. We're going to give it to Jonathan Wells this time. Number 28. Hand it off to Jonathan Wells. Number 38 brings him down at the four yard line. And that's the end of the third quarter. You know, it wasn't a huge game, but if they can continue. 35 to 13 at the end of the third. that run. And that'll open up the passing game. And we're ready for the start of the fourth quarter. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Ohio State with Jonathan Wells. Nice touchdown run there, Coach. Yeah, Brad. Well, they punched it in there, but Kirk, it looks like that defense punched out on that play. And he tacks on the extra point. Ohio State is ready to kick it away. Number 23. Yep, we are ready to kick it away. Number 23. Boom. Kicks it off. Number 15. Fields it in the and end. And they're going to take a knee. Okay. And 10. Ball on their own 21. The Golden Gophers come out in a shotgun. First and 10 at the 21 yard line. Drops back to pass. Oh, and Mike Doss just sacked the quarterback. What a sack there. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on their own 14. The Second and Gophers 17, jeez. Number seven steps back to pass, and they couldn't hook up on that one. And there was a lot of pressure on the quarterback there. Yeah, he had to get rid of him in a hurry, and that's why his pass was off. Ball on the 14. Third down and long coming up here. Third and Minnesota 17 here. The ace set. Can we get a stop? Steps back to pass. He throws it. Incomplete. Incomplete. And, and Minnesota will matter. have to punt. Whoa. The receiver's fast, but he's not that This fast. is beautiful. Ball on their own can I tell you something? I love it. Ways to go. We're playing good defense. Only gave up one touchdown. The not too bad. Gets it off. All right, 84 is going to take it. He's going to get hit. Avoids the hit. Oh, avoids another hit. But, whoa, going the other way. At the 49-yard line. Well, he just went the wrong way on that return. As a coach, you try to teach We're going to go vertical. Forward, always. He didn't listen here. 487 total yards Ohio for the Buckeyes State, right now. Back to pass. And it's about to extend because Michael Jenkins Number 12 drops the ball. just dropped it. He was open, and he dropped it. Why? Why? Hey, look, 420 left on the clock. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> funny. He lets it go. There you go. Away. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it seems like he's allowing the defense right now to control him by throwing bad passes under pressure. What he needs to do is make some plays and start controlling the defense instead. Um, I think that's what I'm trying to do, Kirk. Jeez, why you gotta be so mean to me? It's not like I'm commenting on your football career. Let's it go. Number nine hangs on to it. And they convert ah, 200 receiving yards with play. Ricky Bryant already. Right now, jeez. Who knew? Come out and like Let's go to Michael right Jenkins. Now. Oh, will he catch it? And it falls nope, incomplete. Guys, he threw that one right into the cover. Kirk, nothing. Now we're just gonna hurry up to the line. To throw the ball into coverage. Oh wait, uh, <clears throat> you never made mistakes like that, did you? No, of course not. Second. He drops back. Fires across the middle. Oh, that was too much. And it's incomplete. Why am I throwing it too much? Shouldn't happen. All right, this time we're going to go to a PA strike. 
Number 28, alone in the backfield. There's a play fake. He lets it go. Um, wrong receiver. I wanted. That was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because oh, well. he's in great position you know what? to make the play. I'll go for a field goal. Fourth and ten coming up. Ball on the 28-yard line. I don't mind making it 45-13. Number 23, lined up. This is going to be a chip goal. shot field goal right here. The kick is up. Chip shot. It's good. And it's good. Forty plus yard field goal. Ohio State to kick this one off. Number 15 and number four back deep to return. Oh crap! That was a crappy kick. Number 23 kicks it off. Number I don't know why I kicked it crappy, but. It's fine. Ball on the 32. The D line shifts over. Number seven steps back to pass. Rifles this one out to the left. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas. I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release and he's very accurate. Ball on the 42. Second and less than a yard. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. Drop back to pass. Throws it out there. And it's knocked away. Incomplete. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. Third down, less than a yard. 4 3 defense. Third and short at the 42 yard line. Number seven drops back. He's looking deep down the left side. Pick it. Oh, yeah, Donnie Nicky. Donnie Nicky batting that pass out of that guy's hands. Oh, they're going to go for it. Okay, okay, you want to do that? You want to do that? Huh? You want to do something cool? Go for it. I dare you. I dare you. I double dare you. Line up in a goal line formation. And they got it. By pure luck. Just a yard there. Ball on the 43. It's first and 10. They shift on the defensive line. Back to pass. Fires across the middle. Number 15 makes the catch. Okay, that's just bogus. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. And they got burned deep on that one, my friend. I'll tell you what, my friend. That quarterback has a killer instinct. He saw a hole in the defense and immediately he attacked it. And he hits the PAT. Minnesota is lining up for the onside Timeout. kick. Timeout. Did not know they were going for an onside kick here. Number 28 kicks it off. All right, and number 82 got the ball. That's good. Ball on the 45. First and 10. The Golden Gophers use a four-man front here. Drops back to pass. Number eight is going to be sacked for a loss. They're back okay, that sucked. On that play. Second and long coming up here. Drops back to pass. Oh, he is gone. Deep over the middle, uh, almost. He was almost gone. At the 20 yard line. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. Ball on the 20. Minnesota lines up defensively in a 3 4. Spin move. And they got him for a loss. Okay, that didn't work out. On the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 21 yard line. Ohio State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Number eight is going to be sacked for a loss. Okay, that a didn't work out. Long situation. Two. Ball on the 26 yard line. Let's see if they can do that again. Oh, they the can't, because guess what? Throwing the to the, the wrong receiver. 
It looks like he overthrew him on that one. I'll tell you, I think the quarterback got rid of that one too quickly, Kirk. Well, uh, Coach, you're right. They need to work on their timing a little bit more. Dang, the fake field goal is... I wanted to do a fake field goal. You know, we're in the lead. There's no way they can come back from this, so we're just going to go slot cross. They're in field goal range. Because why not? Just why not? Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. He passes okay, it. that was the wrong receiver. And we just turned it over on downs. The game doesn't want me to score any more points because they want to help Minnesota beat me. And we all know it's rigged. The, this game is trying to rig me to lose. The Golden Gophers set up in the gun. Number seven drops to throw. Because it hates me winning. Number 15 has it. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas. I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release and he's very accurate. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 41. The Golden Gophers come out in a shotgun. Rifles this one out to the left. And that one's fallen incomplete. Ball on their own 41. So it's second and ten. Minnesota lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Number 80 with a catch. Number 37 brings him down at the 46. Ball on the 46-yard line. It's third down and five to go. Back to pass. He fires right. Number 15. Hangs oh, wow. Um, there's a flag on the play. Let's see what this is on. Where was the pass interference? Pass interference. Defense. I don't know how that was pass interference, but that is some bull. We did not pass interfere with anybody. The game just decided to throw a random penalty, and, uh, you know, it's stupid. And he tacks on the extra point. And I know these, these goofy goobers are going to do an onside kick. It's not. Lined up in an it doesn't work, dude. Number 28 kicks it off. Um, guys, can we get it? Thank you, Ricky Bryant. Now you're just really making me want to score here. Ball on the 48-yard line. First and ten. Minnesota lines up defensively. Oh yeah, three. Michael Jenkins. What? What is Steve Belisari doing? Was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Jeez, it's like he doesn't know what he's doing. So it's second and ten. Did he have a drink before this game? Is he drunk? The Golden Gophers line up in a 4-3. Number eight. Back and we got sacked again. Is be sacked for a loss. Nice job, guys. We got sacked again. I hope you're happy about that. Come on, hurry up back to the line to see if we can get him. Oh, uh, no, we're not going to get it offside, so thanks, guys. Drop back to pass. Fires a Ricky Bryant. The right. And they couldn't hook up on that Couldn't one. get it. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little and too much. screw it, I'm going there. for it. He needs a little bit more touch Why? And let because I can. I know a lot of people are going to be questioning me over my calls, but either way. Oh, look at that. I got it. I got it. Up, 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 up. I got it. I got a first down. I'm going to hurry up to the line. As a coach, you got to give these players a pat on the back for executing out there. Oh, that's a touchdown. Told you. Touchdown. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice 500 pass. yards with one throw for 500 yards with one player and that's Steve Belisari and again the speed of the receiver is the difference now we're gonna play. go for you know we're gonna go for two cuz why not they're bringing it number 31 brings him down oh well at the two. we tried Ohio State lines up for the kickoff. Number 15 and number 4 back to return. Number 23 kicks it off. Number 15 fields it at the 1. Ball 
on the 20 yard line. The Buckeyes put four men up front, drops back to pass, fires a bullet out to the right. First down, number two with a takedown. At the and Minnesota will take a timeout. It's first and ten, ball on their own 39. Four man front by the defense. He drops it back. He throws it. He's got the first, and they make the stop at the 40-yard line. And Minnesota will take another timeout. They have one timeout left. First and ten. Clearly, and they're angry that I scored on them and tried to go for two. The so they want to score before, you know, everything gets out of hand. He gives a pump fake. He's going long. Off his hands incomplete. Nice job getting a hand Steve on Steve Belisari is the player of the game. Get a hand on the football by the defense. Ball on Going the for 18 so for 33. And Not bad. Ohio State comes out in a 4-3. Number seven, back to pass. Guns it across the middle. And it's caught. Oh, boy. Touchdown, Golden Gopher. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the oh, now they want to go for two. Okay. Vulnerable one-on-one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And it didn't work. Went for two up. Timeout. Forgot they're going to go for the onside. Minnesota lined up for the onside kick. Number 28 kicks it off. Michael Jenkins has the ball. And you know, just for that, just because they're trying to go for it, I'm just going to go throw the ball. Because, you know, they try to go for two. They scored on us. It's whatever. You know what? We're going to go score on you again. Number eight. Oh, timeout. For a loss. Number six. The offense takes a timeout on the play. Ball on the 43 yard line. Minnesota brings in their nickel package. Number eight drops to throw. He throws it complete. Number 38 brings him down at the 34 yard line. Ball okay, let's hurry up. Hurry up to line. Hurry up to line. Can we get another playoff? Can we get another playoff? Drops yes, we can. Fires deep oh, that's a touchdown. He tipped it. And... <gasps> Pass interference. Oh, my God. We're going to accept it because end. Because the rule is you cannot end the game on a defensive penalty. So there will be one untimed down. And I will take that untimed down. Because why not? Ohio State sets up in the eye. Drop back to pass. I'll catch it. Oh well. We tried to get an untimed down touchdown, but oh well. It's fine. We still won 51 to 33. Well, it's a little closer than most people would have expected, but I'm sure they'll take it. Ohio State and a new record. Best game in their most total offense. College football, where every game and most passing yards. When you're happy, if you lose, you're not. It's that simple. Folks, thanks for spending your time with us in another game of NCAA mm, football Most receiving 2002. yards, too. We look forward to bringing you Broke more so many records football today. action in the future. Again, our final score, Ohio State 51, Minnesota 33. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone. Man, what a game. 51-33. Scored 50 points on them. And they scored 33. That's fine. And I'll just end the game with a W. We're 8-0. 8-0, no. no, people. We're just like four wins away from a perfect season unless we lose, which would suck. Now we gotta simulate the rest of week 11. And we're still number three in the country. That's fine.
So basically, the top 25 kind of stayed the same. Except for some people, like, moving up. So we versus Purdue. Let's see where Purdue is in the Big Ten standings. So I know Michigan's still undefeated in the Big Ten. So yeah, Michigan's 5-0. Purdue. They are four and four, three and two in the Big Ten. Hmm. Let's see. It seems that their team wants to beat us. Hmm. They got a better wide receiver, better O line. But our defensive line is. So they might beat us on offense, but defense, special teams and stuff, I don't know, it's probably going to be another close game, but Illinois, we could, yeah, I think we might be able to handle Illinois, but Michigan, oh boy, Michigan's going to be tough. So yeah, so with that guys, I think I'm going to call it an episode, so with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching this brand new episode of NCAA Football 2002. If you enjoyed it, smack a like on it, subscribe if you're new to this channel, check out my other videos I've uploaded to my channel, and I shall see you guys next time for more NCAA Football 2002. So with that, I'll see you guys later.